subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi, welcome to Test Prep Training. Today, we will discuss about, Microsoft Azure IoT Developer AZ220 Exam. Microsoft's exams have been recognized as a rigorous model to test one's skills, even for masters. The Microsoft Azure IoT Developer AZ220 exam is no different. This study guide will provide the solution to every problem or hurdle you are facing in the preparation. Why Microsoft Azure IoT Developer AZ220 exam? The certifications offered by Microsoft bestows current and potential employers with the core technical skills they require as per the prescribed standards. Moreover, the certification exam validates the candidate knowledge and understanding of specific tools and applications, and their knowledge gets validated by Microsoft. As Microsoft certified professionals, you will be entitled to certain benefits including First, Microsoft certificated candidate are oftentimes hired more quickly by employers. Second, they acquire more responsibility and more opportunities for advancement. Third, because of their deeper knowledge and understanding of technologies, they are formulating time savings and higher productiveness. Fourth, as per statistics, a Microsoft certified professional earns around $80,000 per year on average. Microsoft Azure IoT Developer AZ220 Exam Overview The Microsoft Azure IoT Developer AZ220 Exam is accountable for the implementation and the coding required to build and manage the cloud and the edge portion of an IoT solution. In addition to configuring and maintaining the devices by utilizing cloud services, the IoT developer also sets up the physical devices. In addition, the IoT developer is liable for maintaining the devices throughout the life cycle. After qualifying the AZ220 exam, as an IoT developer, you will be responsible to perform the following tasks. First, execute designs for IoT solutions, including device topology, connectivity, debugging, and security. Second, deploy compute, or containers, and configures device networking. Third, implement designs for solutions to manage data pipelines, including monitoring, and data transformation as it relates to IoT. Fourth, works with data engineers, and other stakeholders to ensure successful business integration. Fifth, responsible for implementation of Azure services, including data storage options, data analysis, data processing, and platform as a service options. Sixth, recognize Azure IoT service configuration settings within the code portion of an IoT solution, and perform specific IoT coding tasks in at least one Azure supported language, including C-sharp, Node, C, or Python. Now, we will discuss about, exam prerequisites. The prerequisites for AZ220 Azure certification exam are, first, Thorough knowledge of the implementation of Azure services for developing an IoT solution. Second, ability to recognize Azure IoT service configuration settings in the code part of an IoT solution. Third, skills for performing particular IoT coding tasks in at least one programming language supported by Azure such as Python, C Sharp, C or Node. Exam details. The Microsoft Azure IoT Developer AZ220 exam comprises of 40 to 60 questions, same as any other Microsoft certification exam. And, all the questions are multiple choice questions, multiple responses. Unlike, any other certification, this exam is available in only English language. As for the registration fee, it's 165 US dollars. Additionally, the candidate can register their exam, with Microsoft partner Pearson VUE lastly, the passing score. One has to achieve 700, or more to pass the exam. Course Outline, AZ220 Exam The course outline comprises of all the skills a candidate must possess. Also, you must be acquainted with all the submodules of the domains. First, implement the IoT solution infrastructure, which compromises 15-20% to weightage of this exam. Second, provision, and manage devices, which compromises 20-25% to weightage of this exam. Third, implement edge, which compromises 15 to 20% weightage of this exam. Fourth, process and manage data, which compromises 15 to 20% weightage of this exam. Fifth, monitor, troubleshoot, and optimize IoT solutions, which compromises 15 to 20% weightage of this exam. Sixth, implement security, which compromises 15 to 20% weightage of this exam. Let us now discuss about course outline topics in detail. Number 1. Implement the IoT Solution Infrastructure 
It contains three subtopics which are First, creating and configuring an IoT hub Second, building device messaging and communication Third, configuring physical IoT devices Number two, provision and manage devices It contains four subtopics which are First, implementing the device provisioning service Second, managing the device life cycle Third, managing IoT devices by using IoT Hub. Fourth, building a solution by using IoT Central. Number three, implement Edge. It contains three subtopics which are First, setting up and deploying an IoT Edge device. Second, developing modules. Third, configuring an IoT Edge device. Number four, process and manage data. It contains three subtopics which are First, Configuring routing in Azure IoT Hub. Second, configuring stream processing. Third, configuring an IoT solution for time series insights. Number five, monitor, troubleshoot, and optimize IoT solutions. It contains three subtopics which are first, configuring health monitoring. Second, troubleshooting device communication. Third, performing end to end solution testing and diagnostics. Number 6, Implement Security. It contains three subtopics which are First, implementing device authentication in the IoT Hub. Second, implementing device security by using DPS. Third, implementing Azure Security Center for IoT. Preparation Guide Microsoft Azure IoT Developer AZ220. Microsoft certification is considered to be the strongest factors in advancing in your career, as well as help you to seek for any new job opportunities. Now, the key to prepare for Microsoft Azure IoT Developer exams is to get the right study tools and materials essential for your learning style. First, build a study routine. It is utmost important to build some structure when it comes to studying, as well as prioritize your study hours. If you don't, it'll be way too easy to procrastinate or ignore what you need to do. You must schedule your learning as per figure out when you can learn and research with least distractions. A quiet environment will help you concentrate and prepare well for the AZ220 exam. Second, review exam topics. Microsoft certification exams are highly detailed examinations. So much so that even deeply skilled professionals have failed. So try not to take it lightly. Each and every question is designed to challenge the candidate's knowledge. However, you can get a head start with studying if you know the objectives and sub objectives of each exam. Microsoft advertises the exam descriptions for all exams, and lists their objectives. Third, gather all learning resources. Always get study materials from legitimate sources that are sanctioned by Microsoft. Microsoft issues its companion content online, and the candidate can seek out online resources and forums from people who have previously taken the exam. Many certified training companies have access to official Microsoft courseware. Role-based certification training courses, such as Azure Training, will definitely help you dive deeper into a specific role while preparing for your exam. Fourth, Online Study Guides. There are various sources when it comes to online study guides. These are best suitable for certification exams. These are often one of the cheapest options for study. The product documentation also falls under this section. But, this is one of the least structured methods to follow when studying. Fifth online reference courses there are many online on-demand video services and courses that can be viewed obviously the cost can vary depending on the source these offer a great self-paced learning path to follow using audio and video rather instead of written books there are free video sources available on the internet their subscription services may cost between 10 us dollars to 50 us dollars per month these vary in price from around 10 us dollars to 300 us dollars per course Sixth, books are your best friends. Books are always a good learning resource to gain knowledge. Therefore, we suggest going through the following books. 1. Internet of Things for Architects, Architecting IoT Solutions by Implementing Sensors, Communication Infrastructure, Edge Computing, Analytics, and Security by Perry Lee. 2. AI, IoT, and the Intelligent Edge, Building Your Enterprise Tech Strategy by Daniel Sexton. Seventh instructor-led training the most expensive study pathway to take is to attend in person instructor-led training this will provide the candidate with a classroom full of students to attend alongside and a dedicated trainer for the duration of the class 
Certainly, this is the most powerful training method if you can dedicate the time, but it will cost the most amount of money. Instructor-led training can cost anywhere from around 30,000 US dollars to 50,000 US dollars. These are intended to train a group of approximately 20 students at a time with an on-site instructor. This allows students to interact directly in person with the instructor. On the other hand, virtual delivery of instructor-led classes, most of which are conducted over the internet offer big cost savings. These do not require the trainer to travel, and the class can accommodate more than 20 students. Eighth, take notes while studying. Write down all technical detail you notice while studying for any Microsoft certification exam. Since Microsoft's exams are notoriously detailed, hence this method can turn out to be a lifesaver. While what you write down might not be on the exam, it's better to be safe than sorry. Ninth, practice using the technology. Hands-on experience will be invaluable as you take the exam. Instead of attempting questions about a theoretical practice you've only read about, with this, you'll have real-life knowledge of what a char does. Taking a course from a Microsoft Certified Training Corporation allows the candidate to test your knowledge of the product in a lab environment. Moreover, you can sign up for a trial account to get familiar with most Microsoft products, including Azure. Tenth, join online forums, or study groups. Online forums, and study groups are a great way to prepare for the AZ220 exam. Therefore, feel free to get in touch with other candidates through study forums, or online groups to ask a question related to the topic you're having difficulty with. However, it's not something you have to join. It's just something very subjective. Not to mention, these online groups help you stay acquainted with the other people, who are also walking through the same path as yours. Moreover, you can also ask a question related to the topic you're having difficulty with. 11th, take practice exams. One of the most worthwhile things you can do to qualify for your certification exam is to take practice exams. Treat the practice exams like real exams so that you understand what your strategy should be when the big day comes. Expect to fail your first practice exam. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.